In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of our Lord. Let us thank the Lord for this wonderful opportunity that He has given to us to meet Him in this blessed sacrament. Let us thank the Lord on this Friday, the first Friday, praying to the Sacred Heart of Jesus to make our heart like unto Thine to make us more and more loving, affectionate, merciful, compassionate towards others. Let us pray at this time for all our intentions, for our sinfulness, for all our joys and sorrows, for all the happiness, anxieties and worries. Let us pray that the Lord may take possession of all this and grant us his serenity, grant us his joy, grant us his blessings in abundance. Let us pray for each other. Let us pray for those who are sick, those in the hospitals, those who need God's healing touch at this moment. Let us pray for those who are going to be operated today, those who are on the deathbed, those who have just died at this moment. We pray for those who are mourning the death of their near and dear ones. Let us pray for all in our homes, in our families, our servants, our teachers, our students, our workers, let us pray for our colleagues, for all those who are in charge of us. Let us sing the hymn. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Love Him, love Him, love Him in the morning, love Him in the noontime. Love Him, love Him. Love Him when the sun goes down. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Dear brothers and sisters, Today we are going to pray for those who are mentally ill, those who need God's help at this time in healing, especially when they feel disturbed, when they feel they are mentally not balanced, that they are not okay, and they need God's help for healing. Let us present to our Lord all these intentions and ask our dear Lord to touch all those who are suffering from mental illness. Let us take the Psalm 50. Let us seek for God's mercy on me and mercy on those who need it at this moment. Let us take the antiphon. O God, you will not spurn a humble, contrite heart. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. 
Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when we judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a seraphim spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, you will not spurn a humble, contrite heart. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray at this time for our scripture reading, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 13 to 16. Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near in the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing in his flesh the law of commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby bringing the hostility to an end. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, we need to rely on the mercies of God in the divine providence because God is binding us with His Son Jesus and by His blood He has purified us. He has strengthened the bond between Him and us. Let us at this time pray for peace within us, for tranquility, for calmness within us. Let us pray for those who are affected with mental illnesses, those who need God's help at this time. Let us raise our hands and ask for God's healing touch. Lord Jesus, through your precious blood and the power of the Holy Spirit, I now break all patterns of mental illness and insanity coded into my ancestral system. I come against all abnormal antisocial behavior, paranoia, schizophrenia, passive aggressive patterns, personality disorders, and nervous breakdown. I come against all inflexibility, perfectionism, manic depressive patterns and strange ways. I come against any hidden pattern of suicide, 
and seal of its roots in my bloodline. Lord, bring love, peace, forgiveness, and healing into my ancestry. Saturate my manner of mental ill health. Let healing be written into the fabric of my family root. Let the mind of Christ reign among us. Plant clear mind, emotional balance, and healthy patterns of relating to each other deep into my family line. I come against all deep darkness of hatred, emotional and spiritual weights, and in their place, I implant the joy and happiness of the Holy Spirit. Let the light of the Holy Spirit rise in my family and in me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, angels and all the saints. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty God, as in this morning prayer, we offer you our praise. Grant that in your love, together with your saints, we may praise you with even greater joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us seek for God's healing and for God's favors and miracles through the blessing. May Almighty God bless us.